see to another Mark Gunnison video. In this episode, I'm going to talk about some branding changes that I've made. I'm going to kind of give you an update on my hip surgery and give you the, my thoughts on why I think men need to ride motorcycles. So it's kind of a nice day. I'm a little bit caught up at work, so I decided to leave a little early. I'm leaving a little bit early, and I'm going to go flying. And I've been working on a new logo for the channel. Years ago when I started off the channel, it was a flying channel and then it turned into RC airplanes and then back into flying and then motorcycles. And uh, eventually the Mark and Mike channel as uh, Mike and I started riding together. But I still have a lot of non-Mark and Mike videos. <laughs> it's kind of silly how I always have to explain why Mike's not here when it's a non-Mark and Mike video. So I'm gonna change up the branding so that it's Mark Gunnison, which is the name of the channel. And then when I ride with Mike, it'll be a Mark and Mike video on the Mark Gunnison channel. You should see that in this video. I'm almost too warm out here. It is 59 degrees. I've got all my winter riding gear on. Don't have my pants on, rain pants. It's been in the low 30s in the mornings coming in to work. I'm pretty bundled up. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I recently had hip surgery. Had a total hip replacement on the right side. That happened a month and a half ago. I was able to start riding the motorcycle a couple weeks ago. And right now I am heading out to the airport to go for my first flight since the surgery. I've needed the hip replacement for four years. I've been putting it off because I was kind of hoping I could just learn to deal with it. But I finally just gave up decided to have it done and there's a picture of my leg as you can see the implement or whatever the that they put in there is a pretty pretty big piece but I was uh, up walking around the day of the surgery sent me home the day after the surgery and I was back at work six days after the surgery and I'll have the second hip done in another month and a half really looking forward to dirt bike riding next year when I have new hips and I can't tell you how good it felt to get back on the motorcycle following my hip surgery. I think there's something built into guys where we need controlled stress, which is what riding a motorcycle is. It's, we have control over the situation, but if we make a mistake, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> so it's controlled stress. I think guys need that just in order to maintain our, our mental health. I think that's how God made us, so we can go out and hunt. And I think if we don't have that, that stress in our life, good, good stress, not bad stress, and I think riding a motorcycle is a great way to achieve that, especially dirt bike riding and flying. I'm heading off to go flying, and one of the reasons I think I enjoy flying is it's a skill that you learn, and if you make a mistake, there's big consequences. Hopefully you're skilled enough to avoid those consequences, which is all about riding the motorcycle. So here we are pulling into Twin Oaks. Do a quick flight. And ask for a better day. My guess is there's going to be a lot of other people flying. And if I can get the camera set up, I'm gonna record a quick little video about why I have an airplane, which is not the reason a lot of people think people have airplanes. So. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any video on this flight, but it came out the next day and actually got uh, some really cool video on that flight. So uh, that will be coming up shortly. And as I said earlier, my hip's feeling great. Unfortunately, I can't ride dirt bikes probably till after tax season just because I need everything to fully heal before I get a little bit too crazy. Uh, but uh, as always, thanks for watching.